This is how we replace the charging port flex on most iPads. This process can be applied to pretty much any model with this type of connector. So we've added flux and now we add a large blob of solder to our iron. We're just going to run along and pull the connector off of the board. If we feel any resistance, we slow down and make sure we are applying the correct amount of heat because we don't want to pull any pads. Now we apply some more flux and use copper wick and we are going to flatten each of the pads. And once that's all done, going to clean it up with some 99% isopropyl alcohol and some clean room wipes. Now we'll add a new layer of flux and tin each of these pads, creating a pillow of solder, trying to make them all the same size. Now we have our new port and we can see these, uh, we have to line up these markers here. So we line up this square here and we hold it in place. And then we look at the top square, line it up. And while we're holding it down, we just anchor it at the top so that it's in place. And now we'll anchor it at the bottom. Now the charge port is set and we can proceed with soldering each of the pads, add some new flux, and we're going to hit each of the pads with our iron, make sure each of them is well connected. Once we have each of the pads connected to the board, we can add a little bit more flux and run our iron along the top with some new solder. This is essentially the finishing touch to the repair. Now we'll grab a clean room wipe and some more isopropyl alcohol and clean it off. And then we'll cover it with a sticker. If you don't have the factory sticker, you can use Captain Tape. Now we'll grab a TriStar tester and test functions. If you don't have a tester, no worries. You can simply test the charging functions of the device by putting the board into the housing. We can see the dock flex test passes and everything checks out. This means the job is complete successfully. I hope you learned something. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments which tutorial you would like to see next.